As Minister Blair has often said, as we go about changing a legal regime that has existed for nearly a century, there are many steps that must be taken in proper sequence. It is not a singular event, like flipping a switch. It is a process. Part of that process will involve at least one more piece of new legislation. As previously indicated, we will be proposing another new law to make things fairer for Canadians who have been previously convicted of simple possession of cannabis. As a general principle, removing the stigma of a criminal record for people who have served their sentence and then shown themselves to be law-abiding citizens enhances public safety for all Canadians. It's good public policy to remove roadblocks to the successful reintegration of previous offenders. That principle is even stronger. It becomes a matter of basic fairness when older laws from a previous era are changed. Now that the laws on cannabis have changed, individuals who previously acquired criminal records for simple possession of cannabis should be allowed to shed the burden and the stigma of that record. So today, I am announcing that the Government of Canada intends to present legislation which, when enacted, will allow these individuals to apply for a pardon as long as they have completed their sentence. There will be no further waiting period and no fee. This will eliminate what are disproportionate consequences and break down barriers, which could mean greater access to job opportunities ed and education, housing, and even the ability to simply volunteer for a charity in your local community.